Now, when the returns of coffee and tea farming for many central Kenya farmers failed to meet their expectations, some of them tried alternative cash crop farming to supplement their dwindling incomes. Now, one of the alternatives was macadamia farming, and it proved to be a great choice as the returns were good and most farmers were happy. Sadly, things changed post the COVID-19 pandemic and the macadamia farmers are crying foul as most are not breaking even and some of the businesses are de that depended on the trade have shut down. Well, Martin Munene tells us more even as government moves in to change the tide for the better to save the macadamia farmer before it's too late. <laughs> Along the Nyeri Nairobi Highway at Gachito in Nyeri, we find this shop. The writing on the walls are bold for all to see. It is a macadamia buying centre, but on a closer look, one realises it is not open. Gladys Kawera and her husband had been running the shop for close to 10 years until early this year when they shut down. All around, evidence of what they were doing still abounds. Nuts and their shells are everywhere. She says the business was no longer sustainable and they had to close down and with the decision, count losses and even let their employees go. Gatito is one of the areas in Nyeri County where the macadamia trade thrived, with such shops common. Locals still remember how it was when money from the trade flowed freely. Kama hii unaona hapa imefungwa, na zigine nyingi, hapa gatito dani, kuna watu wengi sana walikuwa wananunua makadamia, lakini wamefunga. Hatuelewi kwa nini kwa sababu uh, hii soko ya makadamia ilikuwa inafanya vizuri sana tuseme kama miaka kutoka miaka mitano imepita hivi watu wengi wamefanya mambo makubwa sana kupitia hii soko ya makadamia lakini huu mwaka wa 2023. However, things have changed and they say for the first time in years, they do not know where to take their macadamia nuts. Manyubani kwetu, miti ya makadamia imejaa makadamia. Na tunashindwa, ata tutapeleka wapi hiyo makadamia. Kama soko wa itakuwa imetengenezwa, tunaona kama itaenda kuharibika tena. Mimi huu mwaka diyo nimeona makadamia ikiuzwa sokoni. Kenya sijawa yona. Kwa sababu makadamia ilikuwa inaletwa mahali kama hapa. At this tall in Yeri town, we find a Samuel Kiama selling macadamia nuts. He says he has never done so before and is yet to understand what is happening. Si wakulima walikosa mutu wa kuwanunulia, ni kashukua jukumu kusimama na hii kitu. Juu ni kawana sasa sisi yote tukiagalia hida muti ikiwa na mukulima kwa shaba, mshaba mukulima atatoka hivyo, itaosea huko kwa shaba yote. Sasa ni kaamua kushukua na kuleta kwa soko na kuanza kuuza. Sijawahi uswa tena, haijawahi yonakana hii kitu kwa soko tena. Hii ni mwaka ya kwanza. Away from the traders, we head for the farms. This takes us to the home of Francis Gakono in Kirinyaga County. He has been a farmer for seven years. Sasa umuli wangu ni mundoko na nitaenda na mbele na kuseeka. Sasa nikiseeka nitakuwa tu na na kaa tu hapa na ambia watu waenda wa chuna makandamia waniletee tu hapa nipime na kilo. Sasa nikaona hiyo kasi ni rahisi kuliko kulima kahawa ama kitu kingine. Alafu niseme mambo ya Huseni sitakuwa tu naangaika sana kwa sababu niko na tuseme ni, ni kama litaya yangu sasa. He, however, says that his retirement plan is no longer as solid as he hoped due to the price of the nuts he is farming. He and others say the price has nose dived from highs of over 100 shillings a kilo to about 30 shillings or lower. Sasa kama tunaweza tafutiwa hiyo mbei ni serikali, ngandamia hiwa inanuruliwa mbei ya nchuu kama siringi miambili inaweza kuwa ni sawa. 
ama ituleta yao wanunuzi wengi ili competition iwe juu tupata kununuliwa nganda mia mbei ya juu kwa kilo moja tulikuwa tunausa kama mia moja tukiusia mbroka kutoka mia moja andi ite lakini ikaendelea ikinimia kuninimia mpaka ikakunja sasa tunauza shilingi 30 kwa mbroka sasa tukaonelea hiyo kasi badali tu sana na hiyo sasa hata makandamia hata tukisuna tuki tunaweka huko watu wanakula watoto wanakula they all want the government to step in and save the macadamia farming subsector from total collapse sasa tukaonelea badali tuache hiyo kasi ya kusuna hiyo makandamia tuka hivyo lakini kama serikali ikiingilia iki kati itiseme kama kutakuwa na watu wengi wa kununua na, na hii mabroka waondoe pesa tungepata uh, hii watu wamekosa pesa kwa muda huu wakasema hii miti sasa labda washome makaa hii miti haina usaidizi kwa shaba Yu kama mahali mtu anayesapeleka hakuna hakuna serikali inanunua hakuna mtu ananunua hii kitu sasa haiwezi kuliwa na watoto hii si muti ya maana sasa kwa mkulima wakati huu Kirinyaga Senator Kama Umurango, who chairs the Agriculture Committee, says he has written to the Ministry of Agriculture asking the government to let foreign buyers in who would pay the farmers better. Kwa nimesema wazi ya kwamba hakuna kuruhusu mtu kuuza makandamia nje ikiwa na maganda. Kama hata leta ratiba na nakala kuonyesha kwamba amenunulia nani makandamia, ni wawapi? na ni pesa ngapi zaidi ya shilingi moja hakuna chini ya shilingi moja hao ndo watapewa nafasi ya kuuza makandamia ikiwa na maganda akifanya hivyo aruhusiwe kuuza ma, makandamia kwa mwaka mzima the response to the letter by agriculture and food authority afa was this directive directing that any buyer who is to export macadamia from the country has to prove that he has bought the macadamia from the farmers at a price that is higher than 100 shillings the economy of central Kenya largely depends on agriculture, but unfortunately a lot of cash crops have not been doing so well and macadamia joins that list. The farmers hope that government will intervene and save this crop before it is too late, as for now, livelihoods of thousands of farmers are at risk. Martin Monene, Citizen TV, Nyeri County.